Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Jose Francisco. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. All right. So I can see also that we have David. Hello, David. And hello, Oscar. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Bye. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mauricio. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Ruano. How are you? Great, great, great. Excellent. Okay, we're just going to wait for... Just two minutes to see uh, if the rest can join the class and then we will start, all right? Okay, teacher. All right. See here, more people yet. Hello, hello, hello Anna. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hi, hi. All right, let's see here. No problem, Oscar. Let's see here. Very good. Let's see. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day, teacher? My day was pretty busy, but a good day, by the way. <laughs> I understand yeah. because it's Friday. I know. Everybody's happy because tomorrow not everybody works. Do you work tomorrow? <laughs> do you? Will you work? No, today? I do. Uh, I don't work on, on Saturdays. Oh, you don't work on Saturdays. Excellent. No, no, no weekends. Yeah, I have a weekend for uh, rest a lot. Excellent. How do you say fin de semana libre, huh? Uh, uh, weekends free? I don't know. Oh. Check the group. Check, check the group. Check the chat. Okay. We can off. Ah, yes, yes. That's correct. Off. And that's how you say, for example, day off, which means dia libre. Like that one. All right. Very day good. So well. Yes. Thank you for asking, my friends. So thank you, everybody, for being here on time. I really appreciate your responsibility and your punctuality. All right. So let's start right now um, with a new topic for today. All right. So let me just start the presentation here and then i can share my screen so you can all see this presentation all right let me know when you are able to see the screen not yet yes all right excellent all right so oscar and you said that you cannot participate but i would appreciate if you can participate with the stickers comments whatever all right thank you all right so let's see uh, well this is going to be our new topic for today so this is going to be our agenda so first of all we're going to start like every class with the warm-up questions right which is a question that we're going to start to talk about the topic all right, so then we are going to talk about passive voice, which is the grammar topic for today. Talk about the companies, right? So 
you're going to describe certain activities about your companies. Van a describir ciertas cosas about the companies where you work. Y tenemos un writing exercise. Yes, hoy vamos a escribir un, a couple of lines acerca de sus companies as well. Y al final tenemos un self-assessment, right? Um, that's basically the whole agenda for today. Now, let's see this part right here, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to start with the first one with the warm-up question right here, all right? So let's see this one right here. We have two questions, two questions, two questions, all right? And let me see here. It says the first one, everybody please repeat it with me. What is reputation? Repeat it. What is reputation? Uh, what is reputation? Is reputation? Hmm. So we have a problem with that word, right? So because it can be a bad word in Spanish if we don't pronounce it correctly, right? So how do you pronounce that word? All right. So it will be in this way right here. All right, excellent. So let's see. Anna, can you please repeat it? Reputation. Reputation. Remember that the last word is Shen, right? So let's the letter E. Like that one. Reputation. There we go. Excellent. So, Abner. Hey, Abner. Good evening. Hi, mister. Hello. Can you please help me repeating that question? I mean, that word? Reputation. Oh, that is correct. Just remember, be careful with the R because it sounds like a Spanish, like R, all right? So it has to be like R, re, reputation. Reputation. There you go, very good. Maria, good evening. Help me with the word, please. Reputation. Excellent, all right. Irma, good evening, all right? So tell me, how do you say the word? Reputation. Mm -mm -mm. One more time, please. Do you see the pronunciation in the chat? So I can send it again. All right. Reputation. That Reputation. Oh, is, she's eating. I'm sorry. All right. So enjoy. <laughs> there you go. So let's continue. Um, let's see this one. All right. Jose Francisco. All right. Help me, but not only reputation. You have to uh, mention the whole question. What is reputation? Repeat it. Uh, reputation. The complete question. Uh, what is reputation? What, what is reputation? Okay. Yes. Reputation. Repeat it. What is reputation? There you go. Excellent. So let's be careful with that word, right? Good job, right? Uh -huh. Yo no ha venido el, el Google Translator, huh? ¿Quién habrá sido All right. Very good. Let's see this one. Um. Well, do you know the meaning, what is the meaning of reputation in Spanish? It's very simple, right? What is it? Reputation. Excellent. Reputation. And how can you give me a definition of reputation? What, would, what do you understand as reputation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oops. What is reputation? Any idea? I will give you a couple of minutes right now to think about this one. What is reputation? Mm -hmm. Repetición. Mm -hmm. En español? Mm, okay, let's see what is reputation and then we translate it to English. La vamos a ayudar a pasarla a English. Uh -huh. What is it? Eh, pienso que es la reputación es como la forma en que los demás te toman eh, por ejemplo si es la seriedad el, algo así más o menos entiendo yo mm, por la reputación okay. so like this one you actually give eh, an idea and the idea can be summarized in one word this word eh, teacher Yes. Eh, no sería la, las actividades eh, que tenemos asignadas en nuestro trabajo, el día a día de poder eh, desempeñar en nuestra empresa. Mm, Son repetitivas. Be, that could be part of that, all right? So, podría ser parte de eso, right? So, let's just see this one. Let me just show you right now 
uh, a definition of reputation that I have here. Let me know if you can see this right now. Can you see the image? Do you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. So it says it's the opinion or social evaluation of a collection of entities towards a person, a group, or an organization. And it has three important elements. Fine. It's defined by others. It's highly effective mechanism of social control and it's a fundamental instrument of social order. All right, so that's a, a really good, nice definition of reputation. So let's see, uh, who wants to help me to read, uh, let's say this one right here, this part here, this part. Mm -hmm. Who wants to help me reading? Excellent, Erling, thank you, go ahead. Okay, a reputation is the opinion or social evaluation of the of a collection of in entities 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 toward a person a group a organization it has three elements all right excellent thank you early very good job all right so and now who wants to um help me reading these three elements volunteer Raise your hand, volunteer. Thank you, Abner. Go ahead, please. The five others. Okay. Highly eff effect effective, effective mechanism of social control. Okay. Fundament, fundament. Yes. Instrument of social order. Okay, excellent. There are three words that I want you to, thank you, Abner. That was actually super good as well. All right, so there are three words that I want you to like uh, check with me here. All right, so the first one is going to be entities. All right, so entities, some people can say it like that. And um, the second one is highly, and the third one is towards. All right, so do you guys know the meaning of those three words? Do you know what's the meaning of Entities? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Sería entidades. Entidades. ¿Y what is una entidad? Eh, así como una empresa. Very empresa. good job. That is absolutely correct. You're talking about this one. What is highly? Altamente. Excellent, thank you. That was Carla. Hey, Carla. All right, so eh, altamente, all right? And how do you say altamente recomendado? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. How do you say? Oh, okay. Let's remember this one right here. Have you watch the movie of Mario Bros? Yes? No? Oh my God. All right. You have to watch it. It's super good. Yes, I saw it. You have to watch the movie because the movie is highly recommended. All right. So the movie is altamente recomendada. All right. Just to give you an example, right? Very good. So then in the last one, it will be Towards. What is towards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the translation? Yeah. <laughs> right. Repeat. What is it? What is towards? The word towards, which is this one we have right here. No idea? No problem. I remember. It will be Asia. All right. So like that one. For example, uh, you know, who has a dog? Who has a dog at home? 
a dog. You have dogs at home? Yes or no? Yes, I, I have two. All right, excellent. So when you arrive home, your dog is running towards you. All right, so understand? The yep. dog runs towards you. All right. And how do you say that in Spanish? Very good job. So you guys are amazing, super intelligent. I like it. All right. So very good job. So let's continue with this one. So now that we have the rep, the meaning of reputation right here. All right. So we can continue. Right. So remember a reputation. Basically, it's the opinion someone has about someone else or in this case, about a company, all right? So let's say this one right here, all right? So in your opinion, people, what is a company that, it, uh, that has a, an excellent or a good reputation? Mm -hmm. A company. Who? Halting. Paul Sim, all right, yes, of course. And the reputation is in its products. That is correct. Very good. Any other company? It could be from El Salvador or from a different country. Mm -hmm. A company that has a good reputation. Any idea? Yes. Mm. What about, for example, company like, companies like Google, Facebook, all right, so, or in El Salvador, what could be a company with a good reputation? From <coughs> um, the bank. Uh -huh. bank. The banks, all right, have good reputation. All right, excellent. Thank you. And uh, that's what we're talking about here. All right. So let me just go ahead and go back to the presentation so we can see um, what's next. All right. And then we have the next question right here. It says, everybody, how does business build it? Repeat, everybody. How does business build it? How does business build it? Right. So now I have a challenge for you. Right now I am repeating the question slowly. La repito lentamente, but you can actually understand the pronunciation of every word. But I want you to read it like this one. How does business build it? Mm -hmm. How does business build it? There you go. Excellent. So let's see. I'm going to select like a volunteer right here. All right, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you repeat the question one more time, please? Okay. How does business build it? Good job. Excellent. Thank you. Ana Luisa, hello. Hello. Can you help me repeating the question again? How does how does business business business? business Build it. Build it. The word build sounds like the pronunciation like this one. Build. Like that. All right. Like this one. One more time, Anna. Um, the microphone, Anna. Okay. How, how does business? Build it. Build it. Thank you very much. Mr. Laines, good evening. Can you help me with the question? Yes, teacher. Um, how does how do we know build it in? How does how do, build it? Repeatable how, does, how does business build it in? Build it. All right. Build it. Excellent. Good job. Good job. All right. And now I have a question for everybody. What does the question mean? All right. What is the meaning of this question? In Spanish, of course. Como se construyen 
los, los business, los negocios? Mm, yes, almost. Remember that we are talking about, um, you know, uh, the word here, uh, reputation, right? This is the word that we're talking about right now. So this it right here, it refers to this, okay? Yes, so how would you translate it? ¿Cómo se construye? What? Un negocio. Ah, uh -uh. ¿cómo los negocios yeah. cons la construyen? Por medio de la confianza. Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. exactly. The question says right there, ¿cómo los negocios la construyen? El qué? The reputation, because this is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Remember, right? Remember en ese, ese tip. All right, cuando tenemos un tema del que ya hablamos, all right, o que ya sabemos que este es el tema que estamos eh, tratando ahorita, para no volver a repetir, to do not repeat again, so we're going to use it, all right? That's why it means reputation here, all right? Thank you. Mr. Laines was saying something de cómo se construye la reputation, all right? What did you say, Mr. Laines? Uh, in Spanish? Yes, go ahead. De ahí le vamos a traducir. Pues, para construir un, un negocio, primero sería un capital. Mm. De ahí, un, un plan de, de estudio. That is right. Que va a enfocar. Yeah. Right now, Mr. Laines, ¿de qué estamos hablando? Eh, pues, de la construcción de un de un negocio o de una empresa. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. What is it, people? De un organigrama, teacher. Eso fue ayer. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> bueno, de la reputación. Exacto. La reputación, la reputación de una reputación. empresa. All right. So, it's okay. Don't worry. All right. Y eso está bien porque nos vamos viendo, poniendo un poquito más eh, de atención de qué significa cada cosa. Like, what's the meaning of every word right here? So, for example, si hablamos de construir, all right, so that is correct, es la palabra que está aquí, build, all right, y si está la palabra business también, all right, so in the question, but tenemos que darle el sentido correcto a la question. La question, right, no nos pregunta cómo se construye un negocio, right? La question nos pregunta cómo los negocios la construyen, el qué, la reputación. Reputation in English, please. <laughs> All right, so, thank you. All right, exactly. Thank you very much. Ahora, Mr. Lainez, que ya definimos bien la question, now that you understand that question, tell me, how does a business build reputation? El microphone, Mr. Lainez. Me he perdido un poquito, teacher, por lo que le entendí poco. Me conecté tarde y ayer no pude estar presente. Pero... Don't worry, don't worry. Pero ya le agarró, yes or no? No. No, ok. ¿Qué le puede dar a Mr. Laines para ayudarle a responder the question? Yo en español. En español. Oh, my God. All right. Eso sí. Se lo vamos a traducir y después no va a repetir. Right? Okay. No problem. All right. So, good. Ok. Bueno. Bye. Ok, creo que por reputación sería eh, la estrategia primero eh, de mercadeo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y lo segundo es, eh, como dicen, de boca en boca, el mismo cliente genera esa, esa confianza y da a conocer hacia los demás. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. So, is that, we have two terms right there. Thank you, Ana. We have estrategia de mercadeo. Y tenemos eh, de boca en boca, right? Hablando de marketing siempre, right? Nada más. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh. eh, what is it? How do you say? Ahora tenemos dos words que vamos a traducir. How do you translate, ladies and gentlemen? All right, eh, estrategia de mercadeo. Esta está fácil, all right? So what is it? Estrategia de mercadeo. Marketing strategy. Yes, that is correct. All right. So, mercadeo is marketing. Y estrategia, ¿cómo era? A ver. Strategy. Strategy. That is correct. All right. So, 
it will be this one. I'm going to um, write it, I mean, add it right now in the chat. So let's see here. Marketing strategy. All right. So you go on this one and it says here. There you go. All right. That's the first one. All right. So marketing strategy. Strategy. Thank you. All right. So let's hit this one. ¿Quién en el translator escucharon eso? Solo yo escuché. One more time. I don't know. Marketing strategy. Ahí anda, va. All right. So yes, it's around there. Ajá, ya me descubrí quién es. All right, so let's see. But thank you. Now, marketing strategy. And what is a marketing strategy? La estrategia de mercadeo. Very good. To promote a product. How do you say promover? A ver, ¿cuál es el promover, people? Promover, promover. Es de anoche, es el topic, the last class. Mm -hmm. Promover, promover. Any idea? Ajá. Promote. Mm -hmm. To provide. That's mm -hmm. It's promoting. Right. Excellent. Thank you. Y luego um, Ana nos dio de boca en boca. All right. How, how do you say that? All right. Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Exactly. Mouth, mouth to mouth. mouth. Publicity. Publicidad de boca en boca. Right. Over here. All right. So how do you say? How do you say publicidad de boca en boca? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Yes or not? No? Okay. Le voy a hacer la traducción. Cabal de esa. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Marketing. Marketing. Uh -huh. Word of mouth marketing. Que sería como el mercadeo de boca en boca o publicidad boca a boca. All right. So, which is just when you translate that one. Word of marketing. All right. So, for example, let's say this one. Let's think about uh, real life examples, right? So, let's say this one. Uh, yes, uh, Neftali. Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Cómo se diría mouth, mouth? ¿Cómo es? La mouth. Boca, boca. Mouth. Mouth. All right, exactly. Remember, mouth. the combination of O and U sounds like an A. Mouth. Mouth. Thank you. You're welcome, Neftali, and good evening. All right, so um, let's see this one right here. Uh, who has gone to a company like for example, a restaurant or a store because someone recommended you that place. Mm -hmm. For example, I went to, um, what's the name of this place? Um, oh yes, I remember. I went to Le Café. I guess that's the name. All right, so in San Salvador because someone told me that it was a good coffee in San Salvador downtown, downtown, sorry. All right, so what is downtown, people? Do you know that? Yes or no? Pueblo sería Andrew, uh, Andrew, sorry, eh, solamente town, pero downtown, what is it? Como capitalino. No, el downtown es lo que está de moda ahora en San Salvador. Ah, turista, algo así. Uh -huh. ¿A dónde? Where? Centro. El centro, very good, Nancy, super good. El centro sería downtown. All right, so that is correct. So you see, we're learning new words every day. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for the first idea. And thank you guys who participated to provide this thing right here. All right. Hacemos una pausa ahorita para poder revisar la asistencia. Give me just one quick second here. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Veamos. All 
try just a sec. Remember to please say present or if you cannot talk, uh, send a sticker or say something through the chat. All right. Ooh, what happens here? It was already ready. Okay. It seems like the computer knows that today is Friday. You know, doesn't want to work. Let's see. There you go. Friday, very good. So here it is. Hey, all right. Abner Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. So Alexa Cibrian. Alexa, Alexa Cibrian. No here, all right. No problem. It says right here. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, Ana Luisa Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Andre Pablo Camacho. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Mr. David. So you. I heard teacher. Thank you. All right, uh, Neftali. Again. Erling Castro. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Irma Noemi de Jesus. Irma, Irma. Not here. Let's see. Irma, yes. All right, I got it. Thank you, Irma. Okay, um, Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco mm -hmm. Ordoñez. Present. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Jose Francisco Ordoñez, yes. Gracias. All right. Eh, Carla Milena López. Present teacher. Good evening. All right, Kevin Eduardo Santos. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. All right. Luis Humberto Gonzalez. Luis, Luis, Luis. Is it this one? No. Nope. Okay. I'll go with this one. Eh, Maria Castro. Present teacher. Excellent. Marta Marisol. Marta, Marta. Not here. All right. Let's check here. Oops. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Nancy Ochoa. Present. Hello. All right. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Menjibar. Oscar, Oscar. No. All right. No problem. Oh my goodness. This one. Eh, Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Emilet Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Sonia Maribel Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, William Giovanni Laínez. Present. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you for uh, helping me with the attendance. Now let's continue with the class. All right. So let's talk about this one. According to the agenda, now so we're going to talk about passive voice. All right. So let's say this one. 
what have you heard about passive voice? ¿Qué es la passive voice? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado acerca de eso? Yes or no? No. No, 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 no. All right. ¿Qué se le viene a la mente cuando escuchan la palabra passive voice? Uh -huh. Voz pasiva. Eh, una voz pasiva. All right. And uh, what is it? What is the passive voice? Any idea? Yes or no yes? <laughs> all right, so, well, let's just go for this one right here. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, we need to understand the difference between passive voice and active voice, all right? Para eso, tenemos un link acá que nos va a ayudar a entender un poquito más eso, right? Este link está disponible as well in the manual, right? So you can see it there. Let me share it with you right now. So we need to understand the difference between those two. Passive, active, and passive voice, all right? So let me know if you see the new screen. Mm, let's see. Not yet, right? Oh, here it is. Do you see the new screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so let's see this one right here. It says, all right, uh, let me read it for you here. We use the terms active voice and passive voice to talk about ways of organizing the content of a class or a sentence. All right, so, and we have two examples right there. Let's go for this one right here. Who can help me to read this? Volunteer? The active voice is typical word order. It's the typical word order. Very good job. Thank you, by the way. All right. So the active voice is the typical word order. So uh, that means que es la, eh, el orden normal de las oraciones que nosotros hacemos. All right. So decimos, for example, how do you say um, mi mamá horneó un pastel? How do you say that in English? My mother cooking. Okay, el verbo hornear es this one. Bake, all right, y el pasado bake. es bake, con sonido de té. All right, so, in that way, how do you say mi mamá horneó un pastel? My mom baked uh, a cake. Very good, so we'll be my mom bake a cake. All right, and that's it. So, ese orden or that order is lo común. Yes or no? Lo, lo we say every day for present, for past, for future. Sí. Esa es la oración normal. Y eso se le conoce como active voice. That's how you know it as active voice, right? What is uh, the active voice? In the active voice, tenemos, por ejemplo, primero el sujeto, luego la acción, y al final el objeto. The object, it's the one who receives the action. El, el objeto recibe la acción. All right. So, in this case right here, who is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esta oración que les acabo de mandar en el chat? My. My qué? My mom. My mom. Ese es el sujeto, mi mamá. Very good. What is the action? Hornear. Bake. Bake. Hornear or bake. bake. Very good. ¿Y qué es lo que horneó? Cake. 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 Excelente. Entonces, en la voz activa o en la active voice, primero yo me enfoco en quién hizo la acción, en the subject, luego la acción, the verb, and finally, quién recibe la acción, que es el object. What is the passive voice? In the passive voice, we are going to switch that, all right? So we're going to switch that position of those things and we're going to focus en quién, eh, en lo que se hizo y después por quién fue hecho. So, for example, voz activa o active voice will be my mom baked a cake. In the passive voice, I'm going to say, ¿Qué fue horneado? A cake. A cake. A cake. A cake. Very good. 
how do you say fue horneado? Was. Super good. Are you going to decide the verb to be in past because it's like was. All right. Uh, how was horneado? Baked. Bake. Baked. And was baked. Okay, thank you. And por quién? Mom. My mom. My mom. Y nos queda así. A cake was baked by my mom. All right. Okay. So, you see this one? Esa es la voz pasiva. So, nos, enf nos enfocamos en, en qué? El objeto, the object. All right. So, aquí es lo que normalmente recibiría la acción. Super important right here. Y eso quiero explicárselos. Eh, que los verbos en pasado, como bake, se pueden volver o se pueden usar como adjetivos. You can use it as adjectives. All right. ¿Por qué? Or how. Por ejemplo, pay attention to this one, please. Para que no se vayan a confuse later. All right. So, verbos en pasado. All right. Como bake o cooked o etc. Right. Se pueden usar también como adjetivos. All right. ¿Cómo así como adjetivos? It's actually very simple. Um, en la primera oración, my mom bake a cake. La palabra bake se utilizó como um, verbo. O sea, horneó. Yes. All right. So let me see here if I can have the whiteboard or if I have the whiteboard available. Um, one second. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. One sec. All right. I don't see it right here. All right. Well, so continuemos aquí. Baked, en este caso, era el verbo en pasado, right? Ahora bien, para usarlo como adjetivo, lo podemos usar en la voz pasiva, right? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo fue el pastel? ¿Fue? Horneado. 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 Very good. Excellent. So, eh, y luego tenemos esa parte de la voz pasiva donde todos los verbos pueden pasar a ser como adjectives, right? So, horneado, limpiado, eh, sacudido, hecho, completado, consumido, visto, escuchado, etc. All right? So, that's how we're going to be using right here. Y eh, this is like what the passive voice is. Sigamos entonces here con esta explanation and is what is this right here. A ver qué más nos dice aquí. All right. Dice aquí, look. In the passive, the person or thing that, that the action was done becomes a topic or the thing. What I was telling you, right? So, el, lo que la persona que recibía la acción, que era become people, la recibí, si se acuerdan? If you remember it. El tema. No, this one. Become. Get a become? Convertir. Very good. Entonces, la persona o de la que estamos, la que recibe la lección, se convierte en el tema, all right, so, de la oración. O sea, no importante. All right. So, and then we go on this one right here. For, so, for example, um, vamos a hacer otra oración. How do you say, for example, here, mi papá construyó esta casa. En el chat. Veamos quién pone en el chat. Mi papá construyó esta casa en English. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mi papá construyó esta casa en English. Ok, una opción, Nancy. Thank you. All right, so just remember, Nancy, that build is an irregular verb. Entonces, no llevaría ed, sino que lleva exactly. Así como suena lo que soy. Very good. My father built this house. Thank you, Kevin. All right, what else, what else? My dad built the house. Mr. Pardo, remember, build is un verbo irregular. So, no lleva ed, all right? E D no for build. All right. So Carla Milena, please remember lo mismo. Es irregular. Irma, super good. Ajá. Erling, ahí me lo tradujo como mi papá ha construido esta casa y era construyó, like simple past. 
All right. My dad built this house. Very good, Maria. My father built this house. Supongo que hay un cuarto par de letras. This. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Is it or this? This. Like that, my friend. It's esta okay. casa. All right. Very good. So, so you guys hicieron un muy, muy, muy buen trabajo en la traducción. Solo recordarles que el verbo build, it's not regular. Entonces, no lleva ed. All right. So, sino que es irregular y se escribe en pasado como build. Muy bien. This sentence que ustedes me mandaron, esta oración que ustedes sent to the group. All right. To the chat right here. My dad built this house. Es voz pasiva o voz activa. Active voice o passive voice. Active boy. Active boy. Active, Active boy. Very good job. Okay, Active excellent. Boy. So now, how do you think, all right, it's going to be passive voice? How do we change it? Mm -hmm. Send your ideas to the group. I mean, to the chat. Let's see. Como la harían en passive? Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Very good, very good. Erling, that is perfect. This house was built by my dad. Mm -hmm. More ideas, more ideas. Maybe something different. This house was built by my dad, my dad, my father, my dad. It's the same, all right? So that's okay. This house was built by my father. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, excellent. So let's see this one right here. Vamos a ver. How do you say in English? How do you say in English? Esta tarea fue hecha por mi hermano. Esta tarea fue hecha por mi hermano. Mm -hmm. So when I see everybody participating in this one, all right, let's see, no he visto participando, I haven't seen participating a Mr. Kevin Eduardo. Uh -huh. Okay. This homework was performed by my brother. Mm -hmm. Must make, 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 must do. Very good, very good. Okay, excellent. Very good. Ooh, tenemos un par de options que vamos a, a discuss right here. Was made, was done. Is that Esta tarea, okay, excellent. All right, all right. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Bueno, veamos. Do you see what I what I make make say Mauricio? <laughs> all right, so it doesn't say make, it says make. All right. So let's see this one. Do you see the translator? Yes. All right, yes. excellent. Let's explain what happens right here. Tenemos que eh, be careful cómo ingresamos la information here in the translators. Si lo van a usar, you have to know how to use it. ¿Cómo era en Spanish? How was it in Spanish? Esta tarea fue, Esta tarea hecha, fue por hecha por mi hermano. Esta tarea fue hecha por mi hermano. Va, okay. Esta, vi una como esta acá. This task was eh, made by, done by my brother, dice ahí. Right. Otros pusieron homework y esas eh, task. All right, very good. ¿Cuál sería lo correcto? ¿Sería task o sería eh, homework? Porque si yo pongo tarea, dice task, pero que es una task. All right. So, veamos entonces que es una task. All right. Sí, aquí está la traducción, pero aquí está la definición. Una piece of work to be done or undertaken. 
All right. So es una actividad que hay que hacer, una task. All right. So, por ejemplo, eh, la homework es la que ustedes tienen que hacer every day in the platform. Por cierto, van al día con sus homeworks. Con sus homework, homework. Pa, no. día, remember que es semanal, right? Sí. Mañana, teacher. The weekend is a good day to be eh, al día con esa homework. All right. Bueno, volviendo al tema. La palabra task es como una asignación. La podemos traducir de esa manera. All right. La labor, la misión, el cometido, etcétera. En una simple palabra, como una asignación. ¿Y qué es una homework? Homework. También dice tarea. Pero, mira, es una tarea, una schoolwork que un estudiante requiere hacer en casa. All right, so understand the difference between task and uh, homework. So homework is una actividad académica that you have to do at home. All right, so y una task is una asignación o una actividad in general that you need to do porque alguien te la asignó. All right, understand? Entonces, ustedes en sus trabajos hacen task o homework? Task. Exactly. All right. So, because your boss tells you, gives you an activity. For example, Abner, you have to do this. Esa es una task you have to do. Una asignación, una actividad. All right. Explicando eso, venimos acá. ¿Cuál sería entonces la respuesta correcta? Sería, this homework was done by my, my sister. Dije, hermana o hermano. I don't remember. Creo que fue hermano. All right. So, brother. This homework was done by my brother. De nuevo, otra palabra acá. Venimos y ponemos do and then make. All right. Oh, my God. Look at this. We have a problem here. The same word, the same translation. So what is the difference? All right. The difference is this one. So it says right here, do, hacer. Pero que hacer? Perform una acción. All right. So, eh, y what is perform? Veamos que es perform. All right, so that will be llevar a cabo una acción. Ah, desempeñar, ejecutar. O sea, una actividad. All right, activity. All right, and then what is make? Make es hacer. Ah, hacer form. It says here, by putting parts together, combining substances. O sea, mira aquí está la palabra clave. Construir, crear. All right, entonces, para la homework sería do or make. Uh -huh. Make. ¿Por qué? Um, Why? Because. Is uh, 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 it do or make? Do, teacher. Um, you know? I guess do because when I when I asked to my son, did you do your homework? I asked do. <laughs> Excellent. That is correct. All right. ¿Por qué no do? Porque el make es hacer, pero estamos hablando de crear o construir algo. Y el do que teníamos aquí. All right. So, es hacer, pero una acción. Es decir, el hecho de llevar a cabo una acción. Ejecutar una acción. All right. So, that's the difference. Entonces, la traducción correcta será... All right, so um, this homework was done by my brother. Thank you, Mr. Pardo. Do, porque está haciendo ese. Make es para crear. Very good. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. All right, excellent. So, aclarando esto, regresemos a la passive voice. Y aquí estábamos. All right, so, good. Entonces, there you go on this one. How do you say pintar? Pintar, pintar. How do you say pintar? Paint. Paint, exactly, super good. And then, how do you say, eh, ese sí es regular, so el pasado sería painted. All right, ese es imprimir, eh, Mr. Eduardo, all right? Paint, sorry. All right, so, eh, what is it, like, for example, how do you say, esta casa fue pintada por mi papá. Uh -huh, in the chat. Esta casa fue pintada por mi papá. Uh -huh. This house was painted for my father. All right, excellent. 
casi perfecta, almost perfect, Nancy. You know, in English, it will be the preposition by, by my father. All right. We don't use for in that case, we said for. ¿Por qué no usamos for para decir por mi papá? Porque en English, for tiene la traducción de para. You know? Entonces, ahí la traducción sería, esta casa fue pintada para mi papá. All right, so if you want to say por mi papá, it would be by. Very good. It was painted by my dad, by my dad, etc., etc. In this example, is active or passive voice? Passive. Active. Passive. Passive voice. Passive. Very good job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So then we have this one. So, uh, you know, you guys understand this one? Haciendo un poquito más o menos como es la passive voice? Yes. Okay. Questions? No questions? Because if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. Mm -hmm. No questions. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Quisiera que me repitiera por favor un poquito más claro lo del el, lo que dijo usted de activo y el otro cómo se llama el la voz suave. All right. No, al revés. Sure, no problem. Active voice and passive voice. Absolutely. All right. Yes. Yes. Good. All right. Uh, the active voice es la estructura eh, regular que usamos en cada oración. For example. I take a shower, I go to the beach, I drink soda, I eat pupusas, for example. Esa sería la active voice, la que usamos normalmente. All right? So, ¿qué es la passive voice? The passive voice is actually cuando eh, nosotros le damos o, o nos enfocamos más en el objeto, es decir, quien normalmente recibe la acción. All right? So, por ejemplo... Eh, en el, los ejemplos que estábamos recibiendo, escribiendo, perdón, decíamos ahí, la casa fue pintada por mi papá, right? Entonces, en ese example que ya está en passive voice, si lo pusiéramos en voz activa, sería la casa, perdón, mi papá o la casa. La casa. So, it's Spanish, right? That would be my father painted the house. All right. Esa sería la voz activa. All right. Mi papá pintó la casa. My father painted the house. Vamos otra vez por partes. ¿Quién pintó la casa? Dad. My dad. dad. Father. ¿Qué pintó? Father. The house. The house. house. All right. Excellent. Very good. Ahora en la voz pasiva le damos vuelta a cómo ordenamos la idea para darla a conocer. All right. En lugar de decir mi papá pintó la casa. Voy a decir, the house. casa fue pintada por mi papá. ¿Understand? So, oh, okay. la casa the house. fue pintada por mi papá. So, en inglés, the house was painted, painted. by... My, my dad. My dad or my father. Very good. So, thank you. Like this one. Entonces, um, si usted me pregunta, for example, ¿cuándo va a usar esto o cómo lo va a utilizar en una regular conversation? It depends on how you're trying to give the, um, the idea. Es, depende mucho de cómo usted quiera dar a entender la idea. Si usted quiere decir, mi papá pintó la casa, so you say, my father painted the house. Active voice. Si usted quiere decirlo, esta casa fue pintada por mi papá, Uh, you can say the house was painted by my dad. Esta estructura es la más común, all right, que usted puede utilizar para el passive voice, all right. So, eh, no sé si queda un poquito más claro. Si no, voy a explicar con otro ejemplo. No problem. Sí, teacher. Sí. Right. Excelente. Excellent. All right. Then, vamos a, a, a trabajar con more examples here. All right. So, what is this one? Here is super important, people. Pay attention to the verb to be. ¿Por qué es muy importante el verb to be en este caso? Si ustedes se fijan, estamos usando en el passive voice, fue pintada, fue creada, fue hecha. Yes. Y ese es el verb to be. Yes or no? Very good. So, yes. eh, 
pero los ejemplos que he estado dando ahorita son para singular, so it's just one. All right, so for example, siguiendo este mismo ejemplo de las casas, all right, si yo quiero decir las casas fueron pintadas por mi papá, how would you say that? What is the plural for house? El plural de, de house. How do you say casas? Houses. That is correct. Houses. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Sonia, for sending the message in the chat. All right. Entonces, vamos a cambiar aquí. En este caso, very good, Erling. Ese exactamente ejemplo estaba a punto de mandar ahorita. All right. So, ¿qué cambiamos respecto a la primera? En la primera pusimos que la casa, ¿cuántas eran? Una. Una. One, right? similar. Exactly. Very the good. House. The house was painted by my dad. All right. And the last one here, the houses were painted by my dad. All right. Entonces, creo que vean esa well. difference here in el chat. A verb to be, a verb to be, pero la primera fue was. All right. Porque solamente era. One. All right. So, en la segunda oración dice where, porque estamos hablando de las casas, the houses. ¿Understand? Sí. All right, exactly. Pero mira lo que no cambió fue el paint. All right, so, because that actually keeps the same. All right. There you go. So, eh, vamos a ver, el verbo escribir. All right, so, ¿cuál es el verbo escribir? How do you say escribir in English? Right. All right, pasado, simple past. Ah, uh, uh, es irregular. Aquí se los comparto, don't worry. Excellent, Sonia. Write, wrote, written. All right. Entonces, aquí vamos a estar utilizando el pasado eh, participio de los verbos. En este caso sería written. All right. Everybody, repeat with me. Written. Written. Como que written. 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 There we go. Excellent. ¿Y cómo se dice eso? Eso se dice escrito. No escribido, right? Escrito. All right. So, very good. So, you go on this one right here. And uh, you go on this one. How do you say, for example, the word carta? Pero la carta, you write, no la carta para jugar. Eh, Letter. Poker. Very good. Letter. 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 So, how do you say, for example, Letter. Esta carta, perdón, este, esta carta ya yes, fue escrita por mi mamá. The letter. Uh -huh. Written. Written. Was. Okay, excellent. So you have it like that. This letter was written by my mom. Early, very good job. All right, so it's exactly like that. All right, eh, then you go on this one. Good. Eh, Vamos entendiendo eso ahorita? Yes. Questions, questions? No question. No questions. All right, very good. So then you go on this one. También se puede eh, eh, explicar de la siguiente manera para el futuro. ¿Cómo podríamos usar la voz pasiva en el future? Uh -huh. you know, aquí en estos ejemplos que hemos estado dando, dice esta carta fue escrita. Entonces el verbo to be está en... ¿En qué? En pasado. pasado. Exactly, exactly. En pasado. Right. Por eso el verbo to be es un pass or where. Pero... ¿Cómo diríamos esta carta será escrita por mi mamá? Ajá, Ana, la veo con Sleepy. All right, so. Cisco, Abner, Giovanni, this letter is going to write casi, casi. Uh, a Erwin y a Santa les hace falta be, algo. Sonia, that is correct. Will be written by my mom. 
is going to be. Le hizo falta ahí a Ernie y a Sandra le hizo will be written. Le hizo falta. Will be. Very good. Excellent. Will be written by my mom. All right. So esta carta se la escrita por mi mamá. All right. So um, this letter will be written by my mom. Very good. Very good. All right. How do you say, for example, veamos, how do you say, for example, el mensaje será enviado por Ana. El mensaje será enviado por Ana. To the group. To the group. This message will be sent by Anna. Carla, very good. Anna, let's see. The message will be sent by Anna. Very good. The message sent by Anna. And uh, Andre, eh, please, revise los ejemplos antes del suyo. Para que vea que le hizo falta ahí y lo manda again, please. Send it again. Kevin, this message will be sent by Anna. Perfecto. A Carla y a Ana les hace falta el verbo en pasado. All right. Revísenlo ahí. El ejemplo que envió Kevin. This message will be sent by Ana. Veamos. Nancy dice acá. Oh, one second. Esto es, no me deja ver. All right. Here it is. Nancy dice. The message will be sent by Ana. Check the verb, Nancy. El verbo. El verbo, el verbo, please. All right, so the message will be sent by Anna. Anna Luisa, very good. Thank you for correcting. Maria will be sent by Anna. The letter will be sent by Anna. Thank you, Erin, for correcting. Very good. Say sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, excellent. Ahora bien, hemos visto en pasado y en futuro. Ahora hablemos de el presente continuo. All right. What is present continuous? Lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. So, for example, ¿cómo se dice yo estoy estudiando inglés? Yo estoy estudiando um, inglés. Teacher, I have a question, please. Tell me, tell me, Nancy. Eh, con el verbo. <laughs> yes. Eh, si es send o send. Sería send con T, porque es enviado. Okay, gracias. Right. You're welcome. All right, excellent. Muy bien, ese es el present continuous para describir acciones que estamos eh, haciendo ahorita. Very good, right now. Now, pongámosle voz pasiva y llegamos al siguiente ejemplo. All right, so, digamos, eh, el, la oración está siendo leída. ¿Cómo sería ese siendo leída? Déjenme dar un pequeño ejemplo acá. Ustedes hacen lo demás. Por ejemplo, la oración está siendo leída sería The sentence is being read by Carla. Miren, la oración está siendo leída por Carla. All right. So, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, eh, el mensaje está siendo enviado por William, ¿cómo sería eso en voz pasiva? ¿Ajá? El mensaje está siendo enviado por William. Vamos al chat, vamos al chat. The message is pending of being sent. Eh, Sonia, revisemos is being sent. Okay. Mira, this message is sending by William. Carla, check the uh, sentence. Here is the next example. Sonia, veamos. The message is being sent by William. Yes. The messenger, la palabra message, eh, Erling. Ese messenger es un mensajero, right? Uh, the message is being sent by William. Thank you, Nancy. Ah, Nancy, otra vez ese verbo, Nancy. Yo solo me prendí los colores. Remember, mm. Nancy, se me preguntaba por qué sent y no sent, porque dice enviado, right? Sí, sí, gracias. All right. So, the message is being sent. Lo mismo, Sandrita. All right. So, ese verbo está en presente. It has to be in past participle. This message is being sent by William. 
Otra vez. All right. So it's ending. Uh, um, Ana. Ana, Ana, Ana. Hello, Ana. All right. All right. Dice, el mensaje está haciendo. ¿Cómo se dice está haciendo? Mira el ejemplo que yo le puse ahí donde decía está siendo leído. It's been. Read. Ojo. People, no se me confundan, please, porque yo puse el verbo read. All right. Remember que el verbo leer es el mismo en pasado y en presente. Solo cambia la pronunciation. Right? En presente es read y en pasado se, se pronuncia read. Very good. Excellent. So, thank you, Nancy. Está perfect like that. All right. It's been sent by that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Eh, okay. Uno más, uno más y vamos con otro exercise right now. All right. So, el, la, la comida está siendo cocinada por mi mamá. La comida está siendo cocinada por mi mamá. Perfect, Sonia. That is a good one. William, Giovanni, um, let's check the word eat. The word eat means comer, right? So that's good. Lo mismo Apner. Apner, la palabra eat, it's a verb, all right? The food is being cooked by my mom. Ana es el verbo cook. Ahí como va escrito, right? Oh my God, Anita, what happens? All right, so I see you, you are sleepy. All right, so eh, let's see, Sandra, the meat. Eh, Sandrita dice la carne. O no el conocer, creo yo que dice. All right, so it has to be the meal, con él al final. The food, puede ser the meal or the food, no problem. Right, the food's been cooking. Mm -mm. Kevin, ese verbo, it doesn't have to be in ing. Tiene que ir in simple past. All right, Maria, the food is being cooked by my mom. Good. Carla, the food is being cooked by my mom. Hace falta el de Carlita. All right, so Ana Luisa, it says here, the food is being cooked by my mom. Excellent, good job. All right, uh, the food is being cooked by my mom. Erling, good job. Carla, corrected. Thank you. Let's see, Nancy, the food is being cooked by my mom. Perfect. It's been cooked. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. There you go. Vamos con el último. Vamos con el exercise. Ahora sí. All right. So good, good, good. How do you say reconocer? Do you know how to say reconocer in English? No. No. All right. No problem. El verbo reconocer is recognize. Y en pasado es recognized. Recognize. Nice. There we go. All right. Excellent. So, recognized. So, how do you say? Um, let's see this one. Um, how do you say? Michael Jackson es reconocido por sus canciones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Michael Jackson is reconocido por sus canciones. Michael Jackson is recognized by his sons. Perfect, Erlin. Nancy, Michael Jackson is recognized by his sons. Yes, Sonia. Uh, correct. Carla, Michael Jackson, uh, recognized by his sons. Yes. Abner, it's recognized. Very good. Very good by his songs. Sandra, buen trabajo. Solo que me dejo que las palabras son en singular y son songs. Son muchas. All right. All right. So, Michael, it says here, Kevin, Michael Jackson is recognized by his songs. Perfect. Los felicito. Right. Cada ejemplo que pido lo van haciendo más rápido y con menos errores. So that's actually very good. Congratulations for everybody here. All right. So, let's see. Let's see. Ahora bien. Excelente. All right. So, estamos con este. Vamos con este pequeño exercise que tenemos aquí. All right. 
Mm -hmm. There you go. Do you see the new screen? Yes. 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 yes, yes. Excellent. So let's just work in couples right now. Trabajemos en parejas para poder analizar detalladamente este exercise donde vamos a hacer lo siguiente. All right. So what are you going to do in this section right here? Hmm? Do you see this this section right here? Yes. Yes. Those are the words that you are going to continue working with your classmate. All right. Let's just go for the first one right here. Veamos. Voy con la primera. I'm going to help you with the number one. It says here, Don Quixote. ¿Cuál de todos estos serían acá? Was writing. Was written. Exactly. Let's change the color. Para veamos aquí. Clear all drawings. And we're going to have it green. All right, so the option is was written. All right, so in I can actually type that here. Was written. Okay, let's see. And I put it here. Yes. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Is it correct? Correct. Correct, correct, correct. Excellent. You know what? Let's do it together. All right. Así no nos perdemos. All right. So let's do this one. Uh, who wants to help me with number two? Number two, number two? Arme. All right. Who was it? Anna. Anna. That's okay. But help me uh, with the complete sentence. La respuesta completa, please. Anna. A lot of, of coffee are made in Brazil. Ok, Ana dice here que nuestra respuesta es um, art, oh, sorry. Clear. All right, so never mind this one. One second here. It's this one. Uh, like this. Art made. Esto dice Anita. All right, so is that correct? Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you sure? It's been cooking. Yes, teacher. But good. Vamos a ver si no cambiamos later. All right. So let's see this one. Oops. All right. So let's see. Vamos a dejar esta acá. No problem. Oops. I'm sorry. Our fault. No sería también, teacher. Which one? Our phone. Um, well, ¿por qué no podría ser our phone? Porque ahí tiene la, el verbo to be como are, que es para plural. Y el café, eh, la palabra café es plural o singular? Singular. Singular. Mm -hmm. Entonces, I think it's wrong. Vain preferred. Oh my God. Alguien me dijo por ahí algo. So, what is it? I think it's wrong. Yes. All right. All right. All right. So, ¿qué significa ground? Ground. So, ground. Yes. It's ground. The ground. All right. It's like cultivado. All right. Cultivado. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so good job, good job. Entonces vamos a ir aquí ya este, selecting this one para que no la volvamos a utilizar. All right, so era esta la otra. En esta aquí. Will be served, will be, oops, no, no era esta, right? It's ground. It's ground, aquí. Okay, very good. Ya tenemos las primeras dos. All right. What about number three? Number three, what looking for number three? Our phone teacher. Our phone. Our phone. All right, so this one right here? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. Como, a ver, Carla Milena Lopez. Nice. How would you translate number three into Spanish? The number three into Spanish. Es de la más alta del mundo. Para mí, es el Himalaya. Mm -hmm. All right. Entonces, ¿y qué significa are found? Se encuentran. 
Son encontradas. All right. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. All right, excellent. Number four, volunteer for number four. Was painted. Was painted. Was painted. Excellent. So you did super good. Painted. Was painted. There you go. Excellent. Was painted by Yay. 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 All right. Excellent. Next one. Art made. All right. Abner, can you help me reading the complete answer? Good. My electronic goods are made in Japan. In Japan. Thank you very much. All right. So that will be this one. Are made in Japan. Where is it? Here it is. There you go. Next one. We're we'll here for the next one. Number the five. The mother Olympic Games uh -huh. were held in 1896. We're held in 1896. Hey, that is a correct answer, my friend. Yes or no, people? Yes. Correct. Excellent. Yes. So let's just put it here. Teacher. There you go. Excellent. All right, what about um, number seven? Number seven, volunteer? I don't have my car at the moment. Mm -hmm. It is being repaired at the garage. Repair, excellent. Oh my God, yeah. super easy for you right now. Excellent, congratulations. Is being repair. Repeat it, repair. Repair. Very good. Okay. All right, excellent. Number Repair. eight. terminamos. Super good. Mm -hmm. Will be served. Who said that? Afner. Yeah. All right. Can you read it completely? It's been cooked. It's been cooked. It's been cooked. Cooked. All right. This chicken, this chicken is really dry. It is, it is being this chicken really dry. Cook it for too long. Cook it. The chicken, the aha, the chicken is really dry. It, aha, uh -huh. it's been cooked. It's been cooked. It's been cooked. Cooked, cooked, cooked. cooked. All right. Cooked. So yes. Oops. It's this one right here. It's been cooked, so we put it right here. Excellent. Now let's see the next one. The next one, the next one. Breakfast. Volunteer, volunteer. Breakfast will be served. Will be served. In the hotel ah, restaurant. Excellent. Sir. There you go. Excellent. And my neighbor, my neighbor. Is a recognizer. Recognizer. All right, excellent. So, excellent, excellent. Now, I have a question for you uh, antes de cerrar el exercise. ¿Han entendido lo que quiere decir cada una de las oraciones que acabamos de completar? Do you understand the sentences? Yes, teacher. All right, or is there any word, alguna palabra que ustedes digan, mm, no sé qué es eso, all right? Read it, read it. Uh -huh. No. Tal vez la traducción, la cómo se dice la, la número 10, teacher. Eh, número 10, neighbor. My neighbor. Esta palabra. Yes, sí. Neighbor. That means neighbor means vecino. Habitación. Neighbor. 
neighbor, neighbor. Mm -hmm. Next. ¿Alguna otra Spanish palabra? Teacher. Excuse neighbor. me, Mauricio. In Spanish neighbor. Vecino. Okay. Very good. Vamos a poner en el chat para que no se nos olvide ahí. Yo tengo una cuestión en la hora. Yes. Um, dice is being que se usa el dos n. Aquí. Mm -hmm. All right. Siendo. Um, uh -huh. Okay. All right. Any other words? Okay, it's the first moment Olymp Olympic Games were held. Is held a que hace referencia? All right, excellent. Thank you for that question. So we're talking about the Olympic Games, you said, right? This one. Yes. All right, excellent. So, well, eh, en ese caso, el verbo, we need to actually change it, eh, change the meaning, of course. No vamos a tomar el, el, el literal. Sino que vamos a tomar el de acuerdo a esto. So, what is this one? The bird help. All right. So, the bird help. It would be eh, llevar a cabo. Esa combinación de palabras. Where help. Llevar a cabo. Where help. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Llevar a cabo. Teacher, Uh, what number is it? Eight. Mm -hmm. There you go, this one. Oh, you know what? You know what? Again, we have number ocho, right? Y luego number seven. Thank you. I'm sorry. Déjeme corregirme aquí. My bad. All right. So this one. Eh, aquí, perdón, de verdad, sorry for this one. It's been, es siendo. Y acá es sido. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for the observation. So this one, it's not correct. Okay. So sorry. I correct it right now. It's it was the exercise. My bad. All right. So this one, esta. Esta la incorrecta. Yes. Be. Supposed to be esta. All right. Thank you, Carla, for the observation. So, and I was to work it. I stand siempre pendientes. You're always checking that. All right. Thank you. Any other? Mm -hmm. No? No. No. No, 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 no. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's see this one right here. And well, let's see. We're going to continue with another activity here. One second, the computer is loading the next activity. Okay, we have time right now for a role play. Ahora hacemos con role play, role play, role play. Let me know if you can see the role play right now, people. That's computer. Ahorita les limpio aquí la pantalla. Ahí está. All right, excellent. Do so you see the role play? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, excellent. So I'm going to uh, read it here for you first, and then you guys actually go and repeat it and practice with a partner so we can practice the pronunciation today. All right, so it says right here, we have Daniel and Jessica, all right? So, so Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? Y me quiero tener ahí para preguntarles, ¿qué está preguntando Daniel? Donde le dice, what is REX? or R-E-X, non for. Mm -hmm. Como de que es su compañía donde trabaja. 
Mm, me quedo con el primero, de qué es su compañía, más o menos. All right. Excuse me. Es conocido, ¿por qué es conocido? Exactly. De hecho, esta palabra, known for here, all right, ese que tenemos aquí, known for, también la tienen ustedes en su DUI. All right, so, así tal cual, known for, because if you have pay attention, your DUI has English and Spanish. Y en su DUI, all right, vamos a ver quién va a revisar el DUI, ahí dice, conocido nombre, por... fulanito de tal, y hay un espacio que dice, known for. Ese known for debería estar vacío porque usted no es conocido por alguien más. All right. Es en el caso, por ejemplo, digamos que se me ocurre, let's see here, eh, digamos que Ana Luisa. All right. So que Ana Luisa, su nombre es Ana Luisa Espinosa, pero que ella tiene un nombre artístico. Lupita, por ejemplo. All right. So entonces sería nombre Ana Luisa Espinosa, conocido por Lupita. All right. Y eso aparece en su DUI. Si usted tuviera otro nombre ahí conocido por. All right. Entonces, la pregunta que dice aquí. What's the question about it? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. How would you translate this one? Porque eres conocido. Porque es conocido Rex. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's continue. REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. All right. So REX is, ¿qué dijimos? Conocido. Conocido. Very good. Excellent. Conocido. Like this one. All right. So then you go on this one right here. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Recognize. All right. Get it recognized? Reconocido. Reconocido. Y este ask que está aquí, what is it? Como. Reconocido como. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated. Ajá, que es rated. Ya dijimos que este as es como, right? Que es rated. Excuse me. Clasificada, identificada. Yes, clasificado o calificada. You know, very good. As como una de las 10 más, más prestigiosas compañías. En El Salvador, that is correct. Thank you very much. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So now we are going to practice this um, role play here. All right. Voy a limpiar por si alguien no quiere tomar picture. Ahorita es cuando, antes de que nos vayamos a los breakup rooms. All right. Si no, también está en su eh, manual. Did you see the, the, the manual, people? ¿Lo recibieron? Yes. It's in yes. The group. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I suppose you can actually as well see that over there. All right. So. Uh, or you can take a picture right here. No problem. All right. So we are going to go to the rooms right now. As you see, we're going to actually practice with energy. All right. So let's say this one. Energy, energy, energy in intonation. Like, so Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Like that, people. Going the energy, all right? Yes, yes, yes. Great, excellent. Entonces, vámonos a los breakup rooms. Right now. There we go. So, we have 22. So, what if we have... Yo voy pronto. Excellent. Please, 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 los que eh, estén como oyentes, no importa, por favor, ingresen a un breakup rooms para que puedan seguir participando con otras personas como oyentes. All right. Voy a andar por ir haciendo rondas. I'll be around. In the breakout rooms, if you have questions, please click on help. All right. 
go to the breakout rooms, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Veamos three here. Ana Luisa, Ana Luisa. Please go there. Irma Noemi, Irma Noemi. Hello, hello, Irma. Mr. Cortez. Kevin Eduardo Santos Cortez. David, 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 where are you, David? Teacher. Yes, Kevin. Yo no, no, yo era Ivy. Este, oh, era Ivy. Yo no, yo no puedo entrar a la break room porque por rato me llaman ahorita en el trabajo que tengo horario nocturno. All right. Entonces no puedo dejar a mi compañero solo. All right. En la actividad. No problem. Aunque sea de oyente, teacher. right? Gracias, teacher. Te voy a mandar a un, a un grupo donde ya esté dos para que tú escuches. All right? Gracias, teacher. All right. Andrew, 18. Teacher. Yes? Kevin. Oh, sí. Sí, dice que yo... yo... Siempre me pasa que me voy a meter al equipo, pero se tarda mucho. Y, y siempre me salgo porque no, o sea, no, no me carga en el, en el, en el grupo. Va, try, no, try one more time. Hay varias invitaciones. Hay varias invitaciones. Okay. Okay. invitation. Please try to do it again. Excellent. Forever alone. Anna Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Maria, go to room number nine. Thank you. Teacher, ahí envié cómo me aparece en, en el chat. Aquí estoy de nuevo. All right. It's not letting you enter. Si no, aquí puedo participar con, con alguien. It's okay, pero aquí se lo está David. Y está mute. All right, so let's see. Tal vez oh, I actualice después la, la aplicación pueda ser, ¿verdad? Maybe. Aquí viene alguien, mira. Erling. Hello, Erling. 
Erling, Erling. Connecting audio, it says. Erling, 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 hello. All right. So maybe you can. You know what? No problem, Erling. Aquí estamos con Kevin. Kevin is going to work with you. All right. Okay. All right, Kevin. Do you have a partner now? Okay, teacher. Con él voy a ser Daniel, yo. All right. Dele. Okay. <laughs> so, Jessica, what the... That's true. As REX, we produce clouds for kids. I see. And REX known for. Okay. REX, perdón. REX is now for the modern design and the quality of the clouds we make. Absolutely. Rex is recognized. Hello. Hola, es que no tenemos la captura. Oh my God. Eso es más perdiendo. Hey, ¿Y el manual? ¿En el manual? Eh, teacher, lo que pasa es que yo no, yo no estoy en, en la casa, estoy en la calle y estoy conectado acá haciendo una pausa. Oh my la... God, that accent, you're Salvadorian, my friend? No. <laughs> I knew it. Don't worry. So, vamos a ver aquí. Lo voy a reenviar. One ¿Y second. ahora? One second. Sí, One. ya tenemos la Ajá. Yes. Okay, ya tomo Ya, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. Bueno. <risa> ok. Así. Perdón. Tranquila, no te preocupes. Eh, ¿Inicias o inicio yo? Eh, <risa> ok. So, eh, Jessica, what does your company do? Ah, uh, R I X. We produce clothes for kids. Well, like, no. No. Ah, solo no. Así es. No. No. Okay. Recognize it is right. 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 Uh -huh. right. Y la otra es no. 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 Mm -hmm. No. Si usted lo, lo repetimos la última okay. vez. Mm -hmm. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. REX is right as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, teacher. All right. So congratulations. I was listening to you too, and you're doing a very good job, right? Thank you. To, to be volunteers. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Excellent. So regresemos entonces a los uh, main classroom, right? So we can continue there. All right. Okay. Thank you. Gracias, Ana. Gracias, Nancy. Quality of the clothes we make. 
great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Estamos. Okay. Amazing. Very good. That was actually super yeah. good. Yes, I... <laughs> yes. Everybody heard you. Yeah. Todos te escuchamos. Super good. Super good. All right. Oh, Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you a los primeros volunteers. All right. Que les escuchamos ya todos. All right. So that was actually very good. So let's see. Who wants to be a volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Okay, teacher Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Who are you working with? Who was your, your, your classmate? Uh, Carla and Francisco. Okay, so guys, are you okay. ready? Carla, Frank? Okay, so Jessica, what does your company do? It at REX with product plus for kids. I see. What is REX known for? REX is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Yes, and are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. It's recognized as a big prestigious company. Personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. All right, excellent. Thank you guys. Very good job. That was actually super good. Great effort. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, there you go. So now let's just continue with the next one. Another volunteer, volunteer. Una pareja más, and we finished. One more couple, and then we finished. No volunteer, no problem. All right, so it will be everybody to the chat. The last person who types there, how do you say in English, más grande. Más grande, to the chat, to the chat, to the chat, to the chat. Más grande, más grande, más grande. Very good, very good. Bigger, excellent, Anna, Kevin, Nancy, Mr. Pardo, very good. No, Abner, Abner, va al final ahorita. All right, Carla, ajá, Sandra, Abner, ya lo corrigió. Oscar Humberto, no es esa. All right, very good, very good, very good. There you go, there you go, Maria. Maria, Maria. Bigger, all right, so. Maria, Maria. Good evening, Maria. Good evening, teacher. Who are you working with, Maria? <laughs> Raul. Hello, Raul. With Raul. Hello, hello. Yeah. All right, so please go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, so, Jessica, what does your company do? Address we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. There is personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated <laughs> as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Thank you. Very good job. Just remember the word, this word right here, it will be 
Absolutely. Repeat it. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Thank you. So now let's just go for this one right here. Oops. It was this one. All right. So this is going to be our last activity for today. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what is the reputation of your company? Is it good or is it bad? Don't tell me. All right. So you are going to do the following activity right now. All right. So let's say this one. Okay. Who can help me to read the instruction? All right. Please, who can help me to read this instruction? Volunteer. Write a file line paragraph about the re reputation of your company. Use the pa passive voice. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Vamos a utilizar eso para eh, write about the reputation of the company, right? Muy buenas pequeñas líneas. All right. So actually, will be. You know, a very simple thing right here, all right? ¿Cómo describirías la reputación de tu company? ¿Cómo puedes tomar un ejemplo? What's the example you can use right here? It could be using uh, the words that you have right there. Recognize as, is known for, is rated as, all right? So we can use those things right here to uh, write a short um, message about your company here, all right? Excellent, so do you have questions? Yes or no? Hello, hello? Questions? Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Guys, hello? Que un poco lo entendí, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry, all right? Vamos a escribir un pequeño párrafo eh, acerca de la reputación de nuestra compañía. Es decir, podemos utilizar, all right, podemos utilizar here eh, la, lo que leímos. Ahí les mando a la vez una captura. All right, lo que leímos. Es decir, es conocida por, mi compañía es conocida por, por ejemplo, se me ocurre los que trabajan en Bimbo. Mi compañía es, conocida, es conocida por eh, vender pan. All right, so, o... Oh, me quiere decir, mi compañía es conocida por ser el banco número uno, por ejemplo. All right. So, ese tipo de sentences, quiero que las escriban. All right. Eh, and when you have them ready, las van a leer para ver que están eh, well done. Ahora sí. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. Remember, people, si tienen questions, no se preocupen. Ask, and I will be more than happy to help you. All right. Yo te voy muchísimo. Provecho, Ana. All right, so. All right, so let's see. Questions, questions. Everybody writing right now, please. Si alguien tiene preguntas de cómo se escribe algo, if you know, if you don't know how to write something, please let me know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Maria, volunteer. Um, <laughs> my, for example, my company is recognized for providing a better service. Okay. Yes. Providing. Algo así más o menos. Ahí tengo un ejemplo, chicos, para que se puedan guiar. Okay. Yes. 
Puedo participar, pero no sé si la pronunciación la voy a decir bien. Don't worry, my friend. Aquí se la corregimos. Don't worry. My company is begging now for its excellent print and quality. Calidad, ¿cómo se dice? Quality. quality, sí. Quality. And for begging a new and efficient company. All right, excellent. So, subo muy bien. Solo hubo algo que no, no, I couldn't hear. No lo escuché. Antes de quality, ¿qué iba ahí? Print, creo que me dijo. Ah, print, sí. Impresiones. Ah, printings. All right, good. Excellent. So, that's correct. All right. And uh, that's okay. That's actually very good. So, remember, you said efficiency, right? Efficiency. Ah. Efficiency. Efficient. Great. Excellent. Neftali. Super good job. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. William, this is, I work at Artepal. It's known for electrical products. That is correct. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you, William. All right. Anybody else? Hello, hello. Okay, so for excellent prints and quality and for being a new and efficient company. Oh, I said like Neftali. Thank you, Neftali. That was great. Excellent. Anybody else? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anna, this is he. My company is recognized by the quality in education. Excellent. That is correct. Super good. All right. Anna, you said that you're the one that work at, at the school. Anna. Uh, yes. Uh, Eliseo Cristiano Reverendo Juan Bueno. Ah, all right. So, yes, that's true. Thank you, Ana. Well, we'll say Ana Melendez because we have Ana Luisa too. All right. So, uh, let's see. Ana Luisa says, my company is being known for its quality in construction. Oh, my God, Ana Luisa. That is good. Super good. Thank you, Ana Luisa. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Veamos. Kevin. Kevin dice, Kim. Um, I work at Artepal. My company is recognized for being a factory that produces electric electricity materials. It's rated as one of the best companies in El Salvador. Thank you, Kevin. That was super good. All right. Maria, it says, my company is recognized for providing a better service. Un mejor servicio, Maria. That's actually very good. Esa estructura, Maria, está perfect. Pero me hace falta más. Un mejor servicio, for example, de qué? All right. So, you know. All right, so my company is recognized for providing a better service in food, in electricity, supplies, et cetera, right? Laboratorio Solaris is early. It's not for the best uh, serum in El Salvador. Muy bien, uh, early, solo me le hizo falta ahí. Is known for being. All right, for being, for being. The best, y ahí continúa. Ese es para, vamos a ver aquí. Eh, quote, all right. This one right there is for being the best serum. All right, thank you. Nancy, hello, Nancy, let's say here. My company is recognized as the multinational company that offers low-cost flights with the best customer service. Thank you, thank you, Nancy. Oh, really? Low-cost flights? Mmm, me interesa. All right, low cost flights. All right, so good. Let's see this one. All right, anybody else? Jose Francisco, my company is recognized for products, quality products. Oh, for producing quality products. Very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, you guys were doing a good job. Sandra, my company is recognized by produce uh, the best bread in the world. All right. All right, all right, I, for producing, sería aquí, vamos a corregir, squat, for producing, for producing, good. I work in the recognized company for the aircraft maintenance. Mm, okay, 
entiendo Mr. Fardo que dice que trabaja en una compañía, a work in the recognized company, en una, um, like that's the option, el trabajo en una compañía reconocida por el mantenimiento de eh, aeronaves, right? It says right here. Ok, vamos a um, arreglar un poquito. Or aircraft maintenance. A ver aquí. Company is recognized for providing aircraft maintenance. Ahí está. Más o menos así, Mr. Pardo. All right. It's see up there. My company is recognized by give products financial innovators. A financial innovator products. Sería. Products sería hasta el final. Hoy es Abner. Rhyme. Carla, my company is known for providing um, credit to merchants. <gasps> providing credits, Carla. También me interesa. All right. So, very good. Let's see this one. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. All right. <laughs> All right. Got it. There you go. Okay, people. Yeah, now to finish today, class. Vamos a terminar con este self-assessment. All right. Excellent. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? You know, now I can write a short paragraph about reputation of my company. Podemos escribir ahora acerca de la reputación de nuestra compañía. Si tú lo puedes hacer independientemente, so sin me, without my help, all right? Please, mandemos uno de este al grupo. All right, so, si podemos hacerlo con ayuda ocasional, mandemos este al grupo. All right, aquí al chat, perdón. All right, and if you actually do it with help, lo podemos hacer. All right, entonces, ladies and gentlemen, colaboreme con eso antes de irnos ahora. Y remember, all right, so, podemos escribir acerca de la reputación de la compañía. Yes, más o menos. No. All right. So, aquí escríbame con, un, con uno de esos tres aquí en emojis al grupo. For example, así. All right. Excellent. It's okay, Andrew. All right. Los demás. Andre, Andre. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pardo. How do you pronounce your name? I don't want to make mistakes. Right. Andre. Andre. Thank you. All okay. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Daniel. Very good. Okay. Cool. All right, all right. Los demás, el sticker, very good. Excellent, Ana Luisa, very good. Carla, very good. There you go, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sonia, very good. Nancy, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. So thank you everybody for your time today. All right. So I'll say thank you very much for being here. Les agradezco que hayan estado aquí, all right, and I wish you, you have a nice weekend, descansen, pónganse el día con las homeworks, a la homework que no han hecho, all right, so ya tenemos con la de ahora tres, all right, así que pongamos el día con eso y en el grupo les voy a compartir un par de ejercicios de Passive Voice para que los puedan seguir desarrollando, all right, so it's not that difficult, solo es cuestión de práctica, so you need to practice a little bit more, but remember, if you have questions, por favor, no tengan ninguna pena en preguntar, yo con mucho gusto les puedo ayudar eh, con eso, all right? So, thank you everybody, have a good night, and have a nice week. Thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, Oscar. Bye-bye.
No lo quería saber si pasó a lista porque no, no, no escuché muy bien. Ah, right, no problem. Let me see aquí right now la lista. All right, Oscar, Oscar. Tú eres Oscar. Argueta. No, Argueta. Humberto Argueta. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Sí, sí estás acá. Ok. All right. Teacher, solo una vez pasó Lisa ahora. Yes. All right. Ajá. Sí, ya, pues es la única pensé que había pasado ahorita al final. No, creo que solo me hizo falta una persona, Luis Humberto. Y quedamos Alexa. Entonces, no lo vi conectados. Sí, teacher, y ayer a mí en los... Perdón, en los últimos minutos se me fue también la, la red y no sé si pasó lista ayer. Yes, ya de último. Sí, okay. último. What's your name? Sandra Yamilet. Sandra Yamilet. Eh, veamos, veamos. Sí, fíjate, sí, se acá. Yes. Sí, Sandra sí, sí es que pensé que no me había escuchado. Yes, cómo no. No worries. La topper, la teacher. Ajá, porque una la pasó a las ocho y media y la otra de último. Correct. So, pero ahora, yes. Don't worry. Ahí estás. Okay. Thank you, All teacher. Right. Good night. Have a good, good night, night, Oscar. Bye-bye. Nice weekend. Gracias. Yeah.